I actually haven't seen the bike in the flesh yet. So my first impressions are that the photographer took some amazing shots of this amazing looking bike. Santa Cruz always impressed me with their designs and the designers have gone all out on this bike. So um, I think they've done a really good job. Um, they normally try and get a, an African kind of feel, maybe South African with the colors. Um, but generally, I just leave it up to the designers, you know. Um, that's what they do for a profession. And uh, I just think that they do really cool concepts and, and, and a good job on the bike. So I leave it all up to them. Definitely the, the design. That's the favorite feature. We don't have too many component changes this year. Possibly just a drive chain. I think Shimano have got a new prototype for us to race again, which is really cool. They're, they're working on something really special. Um, barring that, I, everything else is just the same. The new bike is identical to what I had last year. I do hear there's slight suspension changes internally, so um, I don't know yet, we haven't had any testing. The reason I don't know too much about the bike or even have the bike is due to, to the COVID and all the delays, everything's just been delayed and pushed further back. So that's why I don't know too much about the bike itself. I have tested the mullet, uh, but I'm gonna stick to 29. The V1029 just feels really comfortable to me. Um, in February, I was testing the mullet and it's got some really good and positive um, features in the way it handles and rides, but uh, generally I felt a, a lot more settled and, and faster on the, on the V1029, so I'm gonna stick to that. Tires are definitely one of the most important com uh, components to the bike. You know, you have, um, that's your contact with the ground and you need as much traction as possible. Um, so yeah, I do feel tires are super important. Lyle and I work really well together. You know, obviously last year was our first year together and he kind of got thrown in the deep end, but um, he's such a great character and and really enthusiastic about what he does. Um, and not only do we work well on the bike, but off the bike too, we, we seem to enjoy the same thing. So uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I have a good time with Lyle and uh, that makes our working relationship really good as well. So yeah, he's a very trusting, very good mechanic. I'm looking forward to racing generally, you know. Uh, I was a bit disappointed Fort William wasn't in the schedule uh, due to COVID, but um, just I just want to get out racing. I've had such a good off-season training, and then unfortunately I got COVID, so I had a bit of a break, but um, I'm feeling good again. My training's going well, so I'm feeling strong. I haven't ridden too much downhill just yet, so I need to get cracking on that. But uh, I, 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 yeah, I just want to get racing. Yeah, I think one of my main competitions is, or competitors, one of my main competitors is probably going to be my teammate from last season. I mean, Loris is, was just on fire last season and unfortunately didn't end well, but damn, did it start well. And uh, he's riding incredibly well on his new bike, um, put up some really good times in some pre-race testing, but then snapped a handlebar, which wasn't too good. So, but he's riding really well. And then obviously it'll be Luke Bruni, Amory Peron, um, and then the usual. So, um, yeah, I w we'll see. It's going to be exciting here. Well, I don't know. Just the same as every other year, I guess.